I'm still trying to understand why some people do not like O'Malley's new song, Holy Ghost. Is it because he named the song Holy Ghost? And of course, you know, when you talk about Holy Ghost, you know, it has to do with the Christians. And uh, they believe so much on the Holy Ghost spirit, you know. Whenever you are, you are whenever a Christian come across a really difficult situation or you know, come across a winch, the first thing he said, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. So Holy Ghost is a, it's a really dear word to a Christian. And O'Malley decided to name his new single Holy Ghost. And uh, if you check the hard work with the fire and everything, it doesn't really speak well. And those of you who know me, you know I have wholeheartedly speak in gays, all those kind of things. You understand? They will say it's art. It's art. It doesn't mean anything. But to me, it means a lot. But honestly, I've listened to the lyrics of that music. It doesn't really speak anything that it has to do with Holy Ghost. He only talked about a girl a relationship, but uh, you know, just to he, he just sexualized the whole content, the same content that most musicians talk about. Hmm? But check out this uh, comment from Daniel Rega. He said, "Anyone that vibes or listens to O'Malley's new song is indirectly mocking God and sins against the Holy Spirit." will not be forgiven. Matthew 12, verses 31. Sin against the Holy Spirit won't be forgiven. Matthew 12, verses 31. And he also said, O'Malley new song, Holy Ghost, is blasphemous. Blasphemous. It further proved that he is an insensitive artist. As the song, it directly mocks the Christ, the Christian faith, and show lack of reverences for one of the Trinity, Holy Spirit. Again, the rate at which people respect other religions but ridicule Christianity is beyond upsetting. Well, guess what? Uh, Daniel Rega might be fighting for respect towards Christianity, but guess what? The people who are even castigated the Daniel Rega for ever speaking against Omali, naming his song Holy Ghost. Are Christians. Check out this Christian girl. What this Christian girl said is she said, We do not fight for our God, he fight for us. <laughs> Someone said, I just knew you all have an opinion on this, but this time I support you. See, whether Omali is your favorite artist or not, whether you like Omali or not, eh? Because you like O'Malley so much, you do not care whether he's doing something negative or if he's doing something that is not right. Then you say, oh, it's none of your business. Well, just imagine someone, a musician. You remember what he put to that David o, uh, artist now? May go kind of like, uh, not even mock Islam, but did something that is not, uh, that, that is not supported in Islam. He was immediately blasted, and the and David o had to take down that post. But Christianity is so, you know, it's so free, and you can do whatever you want with the name. So are we able to say? Uh, so are we able to tell you Jesus is gay? Can you imagine? So are we say Jesus is gay? You know. So many other stuff happening, and uh, the Christian will just overlook it. You know, they would not talk anything about it. You know, over the years, they they can do anything to you, you guys, and nothing will happen. But you can't try try that to Islam. You can't. You can't. Even if you try, I mean, eh? <laughs> and you go scot free, they will play your matter. A day, a day, a day will come, and you will pay for it. <laughs> they apply your matter. Well, apart from O'Malley, name it that song, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is a sacred name uh, to Christians, and they weren't supposed to name that song Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. That aside, but the lyrics in that music doesn't even correspond with anything like Holy Ghost. 
in other words, we are are, 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 are are good compared to what artists are singing. It's not like singing, like um, speaking, asking people to worship the devil or something that has to do with that. Nothing like that. The song is just purely cool song, purely sexual song for women and men, you know, young guys. Well, apart from him, name me that song, Holy Ghost, to I see absolutely nothing wrong with it. So, Daniel Rega have spoken. So, what do you want Omale to, to do now? Do you want Omale to bring down the song or rename the song another name? Just give the song another name because he already published it out there. You know, these artists need to think, think well, think well before naming their, before dropping a project, not to kind of like disrespect people's religion, you know, disrespect people's belief and everything. Well, you know, it's all uh, Omale. Omale sings in different ways. So, let's talk about whiskey. Whiskey bowed down for a Haidali man alongside K1. K1 invited Whiskey to chill with him, and uh, K1 used the opportunity to show Whiskey his facility and uh, his buildings, his, his, his investment around a particular area. Whiskey grew up in Lagos State. Whiskey is in Lagos State since enjoying his vacation, enjoying himself. You know, the Grammy Award and the buzz around the Grammy, you know, concerned Whiskey as of now. Whiskey is enjoying himself. So, they met with each other and they went around. Whiskey even visited his whole school, the primary school he attended. Visited the primary school, visited his old, his old neighborhood. Saw a lot of people that he didn't see for a while now, for years. So, and I think he should also use the opportunity to give back as well. As a form of a memorial for his for his mom, his late mom, you know, give back to that community that he grew up from. You no know, whiskey that bed, one million, two million, or ten million naira. You no know, go too much. You say okay, that school made you attend that year. Made a take buy chair, made a take buy book for students, or donate some kind of things. You understand? Well, the video that is making balls is this video that shows uh, uh whiskey and K one. Bowing down to Awo Jali, that's the name. He's a king, I think he's a king, that particular area. And people were very that pleased to see whiskey kneeling down for an elderly man. That man is above 90 years, 90 years and some few months. He's going to 91. Whiskey is just 30 something, and K1 is 66 years old. If K1 knelt down like this, who be whiskey me no could me down now? We are not talking about money here. We are talking about respect. We are talking about elder, elderly uh, person. And whiskey it also means in Yoruba. Yoruba when it comes to respect, eh? Now Yoruba really sabi respect. They go bow down, greet the person. I will start to the one. Even our own people, but now Yoruba they really know for that kind of thing. So whiskey being the machala. Are one of the biggest artists in Africa, Africa, Nigeria. That doesn't mean he should forget his values now. He knows exactly where he's coming from. That doesn't mean he should forget his value. Someone said, Chief Wasio Aye the K1 is 66 years old. See him kneeling while speaking with the Awa Julie of Ijebu land, who is about 90 years. This is Yoruba culture. There's nothing wrong with that. If you meet your elderly person, you kneel down. No, there's absolutely nothing wrong. Eh? Some of you, that is what you are saying. The other day we saw a woman kneel down to a pastor with a complaining, complaining, complaining. Myself, I complain because you know, even kneel down for his wife, for, for her husband before, when you kneel down for pastor. But that aside, some of you, you will go to your father's house. People bow down like this, uh, uh, good sir, to, to bow to, to greet your dad because it's difficult for you. To bow to greet your mom is because it's difficult for you. Why? Why? 
Except if the if your dad said, no, 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 stand up. Hey, hey, that's nice. I still bow to greet my mom. I still bow to greet my dad. Yes, yeah, so up to now, I don't joke with that. I still bow, even though I'm not prostrate, but I bow. Like, form of respect. The same respect. Even uh, I give my dad way more respect than what I give to any of my boss. Yes, so my dad way more respect than what I give to any of my boss. So nobody should blast him. It's our culture. It's Yoruba culture. It's Nigerian culture. Okay.